Being a boxer's wife is like being no other wife. These dudes is trained to kill. Even if my husband tried to stray, he knows where I am. He always comes back home. I've been through a lot with Monty over the years. I've seen his baby mothers, his girlfriends, his ex-girlfriends. And if you let Monty tell it, he'll probably tell you I was a hater back then. Me and you, Tay, we've been through the trenches. I mean, you and Zab, y'all was savages. Definitely, definitely, I would agree. Y'all was savages when we was younger. I mean, when me and Zab broke up, I wanted to leave everything Zab Judah behind me, everything. So for us to be here and your wife and our kids together and us hanging together, I never in a million years thought we would ever get to this point. I mean, you gotta remember, like, me and Zab started dating. Thank you. Me and Zab started dating in our early, early 20s, and I had been in the music industry since I was a teenager. He had been boxing since he was, like, in single digits, I think, like, what, five, six? Six years old, Six yeah. years old, something you know, like that. The Judah Brothers. Right. <laughs> And so we met, we clicked, we dated, we got married, mm -hmm. we had destiny. And um, at that point, it felt like all the music that I had loved for so long, that I breathed out my lungs, I just wanted to give it all up for my heart. Mm -hmm. And just like that, I became part of the Zab Super Judah management team. You remember? Yeah, I did every and anything you could think of that they needed. I sold tickets, I did endorsements, I did sponsorships, I put celebrities in the seats, I did promotions, you I made sure. Don I did the con I looked over contracts. I did Don the contracts King. with Don King. I made sure his family was good at all the fights. I mean, I did all of this. Travel. I did all the yeah, travel. travel. Exactly. Travel. I was the travel agent too. <laughs> and all of this I was doing while back at home. I was trying to get him to finish school. I was trying to enhance his spirituality. I opened my home to all his other kids, all of them. And I treated them like they were my own kids. It was a child, it was a family, the whole family. Yeah, Every time like, we went over, it was I, like 30 deep. Exactly, and I took them all in. They all lived with us. So I just feel like we got to a point where after being together for so many years that we wasn't maturing at the same pace. Fast forward, we here today and He's back in New York and he's building a relationship with Destiny and he's going to all her basketball games. I mean, that's all I ever wanted from Zab. Right. Like every little girl needs their father. Mm -hmm. And as long as him and her is cool, me and him is cool. Mm -hmm. People ask me, how, how could you be cool with Kia? I could be cool with Kia because I'm cool with Zab. Mm -hmm. Like we're actually at a point in our lives where we're working on our friendship. We're trying to work together. We co-parenting. You know, I genuinely want Zab to be happy. And I, I can only pray that Zab also wants me to be happy. I see growth in Zab, but I see tremendous, tremendous growth in you. If Shaniqua only knew what I knew about y'all two mm -hmm. and the savages y'all was when we was growing up. Yeah, yeah, but I'm low key though, but you know, listen, I want to commend you for one for doing what you're doing because everybody can't do that. You know, everybody can't fill in those shoes. And when I say that, I mean that, you know, for you and him to coexist with destiny and just for your well-being, like you're in a better place, you know what I'm saying? You've grown and it's about healing and it's about learning and growing, right? Mm -hmm. So those are all three functions that you're working on and working towards and you are doing. Right. And it's hard because, you know, listen, it has, you have so much baggage in relationships, like, and I've been in the midst of the storm with you and Zab, ha, as you have with me and my 100 relationships exactly. at one time. Right. And that's what I told Shaniqua, that she doesn't get that part of me. Like, this is the first woman I've ever been faithful to, you know? I've had girlfriends, married, such and such, such and such. You I know? remember. I got four different baby mothers, and I got, I got four daughters with my first wife. Right. who she's a savage right. but you know but i once did love her you uh -huh. know what i'm saying then i have i have my 
I have my other, I have Brandon by Kenya, and you know, whatever the situation is, then I have a Gabrielle, then I have Zoe by another young lady. I remember me and you were beefing over the whole Kenya thing, because I think you were going to marry Kenya, and I told Kenya, do not marry Monte, and then like three days later, you married Ray, and... Wait, 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 well, listen, let me, this is how bad I was. I'm, you know, this is, this is crazy, right? So I am a savage, because... I bought Kenya a fifteen thousand dollar ring just to keep her quiet, so I can get through the fight. That's why I told her not to marry your ass. I love Shaniqua. I love them together, and I hope they have a beautiful marriage forever, ever, and a day. <laughs>